New details into an overnight fire that destroyed a Forest River RV plant in Goshen. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springate joins us live to tell us how fire crews are still working to finish the job they started late last night. Jack. Yeah, that's right. And if you take a look behind me, you can still see smoke rising from the structure nearly a day after Goshen fire crews first got word of the fire. Goshen fire crews arrived at the scene after getting the call around 830 Monday night and with no one left inside the building, they did their best to contain the fire and any hazardous waste from melting materials. IDEM was out here to check the runoff for the creeks and that and then we also had our uh, Goshen stormwater sewer uh, department was out here for the same reason. The fire didn't damage any of the surrounding buildings, but Powell says Forest Rivers structure is a total loss. Here's what the inside of the building looked like after it was safe for firefighters to enter. Goshen Fire stayed here all day to put out any remaining hot spots they couldn't get to from the outside while taking out some of the exterior with a power shovel to put out even tougher to reach hot spots. There's a lot of uh, structural instability right now in the building and in order to get to those hot spots that we want to put out yet, um, we have to pull it away because it's not safe to go inside. Tons of debris filled up a dumpster brought in during the cleanup. Much of what crews put in there was still on fire. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. And I reached out to Forest River to see how this fire impacts their workers and their day to day operations, but I'm still waiting to hear back from their public relations after reaching out. I'll have more coming up at six o'clock, but for now reporting in Goshen, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now. Okay, Jack, thank you for that update.